Dream a little dream of me. Welcome kindreds, it's Jessica the Story Witch and this is my bullet journal setup video for April. I hope that this video finds you well and happy and healthy. I start my setup with a little bit of reflection on the previous month so I still am using the colours and things that I used for March which was a green and some greys and to kind of keep the kind of coherent vibe that I've got going on in my journal this year which I'm really loving <laughs> I decided to do the same thing again as I've been doing for most of my monthly setups but for April I went with a really bright red now on the camera it looks kind of like more of a darker wine red but in person it's much more like crimson and vivid and it was a suggestion of um, one of the people who watched my last month's video my video for March to do red for April and it just made a lot of sense to me because it is like airy season and it's that kind of fiery hot like the nettles are coming up and yeah it, it, it's not a color that immediately jumped out at me but when I read that suggestion I was just like yes that is a really good idea <laughs> to me April can often feel more like kind of like kind of palish purples and blues and light greens and things I think mainly because that's the sort of sky colors and stuff that are going on in April but I'm really happy I went with the red I think it looks it looks really cool. The only thing I did find with the Tombow, it's um, let me see which color. Sorry, that it um, it's an eight five six, is the color red that I used. But what I find with the Tombows is sometimes the the brush is more stiff or less stiff, and you don't always know what you're going to get with them. Um, they do kind of give a little bit as well. The more you use them, and this is a fairly new one that I haven't used very much, so it was quite stiff. So. I find when I'm doing larger lettering using the more stiff uh, tips it doesn't quite look as well so I wasn't totally loving how my lettering for April <laughs> how it looked but it's fine it's all good so yeah sim very similar format well the same format as what I've been doing since the start of the year which I'm really enjoying this is if you haven't seen any of my videos before I'm using it um, B5 format is it b5 <laughs> i'm sure my brain is fried after doing all of my setup and then editing the video and everything it's basically the bigger format of the journal from notebook therapy i'll link everything that i've used in my journal and stuff down below if you're interested and this layout just seems to work really well even though it's not much bigger than a5 it feels much bigger it was funny i was flicking through one of my journals from last year uh, a few days ago and i was just like wow these feel so small now <laughs> and the paper feels kind of flimsy too as well in my lystrums that i was using before and um before that i was using like mole skins and stuff and the paper is much more like card in these notebook therapy journals which I actually really like because you know as you can see I do a lot of cutouts and things like that and I find that they definitely work better like in the card because they are more it just kind of holds its integrity a little bit better so yeah I feel like that works so that works really well and yeah I'm filling a few things in on my calendar I fit all my calendar in on one page and found a little um, quote and stuff to go in there from the from the a few I do buy a few diaries a few different planners and things for inspiration and to take things out of my journals uh, although I'm not collaging as much this year so I haven't been using them as much as usual but I am still like looking in them and reading them so that's something I'm gonna have to kind of work out whether I want to keep buying as many going forward and um, I have got a video where I look at all of those different um, planners and stuff if you're interested in those and um, if you've seen me kind of pulling things in and out of the video so I'll try and remember to link that um, down below probably um, yeah in case you're interested in seeing those the main one that I use is the Astrocal Moon Diary because I get all my like lunar and astrology information there's a really good ephemeris in the back of it 
which I really like. Unfortunately, it's actually sold out for this year now, but um, it's worth knowing about if you're interested in astrology and yeah, it's it's useful. So like I said, I'll link all those down below. I also um, like to include my cards that um, I drew for each month of the year. I drew them from two different tarot decks. That was the Light Seers and the Green Witch Tarot. And yeah, for this month I've got the Ace of Swords and the Queen of Swords. So it's a very eerie seeming month, which is interesting considering, like I said, it's eerie season, which is much more fiery. And then at the end of the month we'll be moving in, the sun will move into Taurus, so it's more earthy. But there is a lot of, there's quite a bit of action happening in Gemini at the moment, so it feels kind of appropriate that it's eerie and it's kind of a bit more cerebral and it's getting things done. I find the aces do have that kind of cardinal fireish type of energy with them even in all of the suits though so um so yeah I think it's, it's initiatory you know it is that kind of getting things off the ground sort of energy and honestly I could probably do with that this month. I, I don't know why, but the, the last few weeks I've just been feeling a little bit like lackluster and a bit more tired than usual. Um, yeah, so, so I'm hoping that this bright, vibrant red and that kind of eerie cardinal energy and the Queen of Swords energy is going to help me to, to just be a bit more focused maybe or just... Just be a bit more alive I feel like you know to be inspired to you know with air being that breathing in breathing out I want to be more inspired and and excited for things um yeah I like I find that gratitude and stuff does come quite naturally to me I'm quite grateful and I do notice the little things in life but um energy has been what I need more of these last few weeks so yeah a bit more of that would be would be really really good so here's hoping <laughs> I hope you guys have got more energy than I have let me know how you've been doing as well I like ast astrologically wise things are a bit dark as they had been all through 2020 as well you know so we're still kind of figuring things out there's a lot of change happening and we've got to incorporate that as we go along so so yeah, so I did my weekly setup the same as I've been doing as well and I chose to use, um, because I'm, I'm setting this up on um, Thursday the 25th of March, so it's not the end of March yet as I'm setting this up, and I had the last three days of March running into the first week of April, so I chose to use the green that I'd been using for March for the first three days and then switch to the red um, for the numbering for April. And like it doesn't look horrible, so <laughs> so that's good. And I I like it that it'll be more of a kind of visual reminder that that's the end of this month and that's the beginning of this month. And then I'll bring the red a little bit more into it on the weeks on going from that. Like I might use the red to actually draw out the the boxes perhaps for the days. I have like space. I have the day split into three sections where I have um the events are separate from my to-dos and um, my food, what I'm going to eat for that day. I'm really focusing on like meal planning this year and I'm drawing out a little menu um, here as well on this extra little flap that I find really useful because you can fit loads of extra little bits and bobs onto this flap which is good to be able to refer back to through the week. And yeah, focusing on food and being just a bit more organized and stuff, so I'm not wasting stuff. We're trying to focus on being a little bit more low waste as a family and um, on like eating things we actually love eating. And yeah, so it, it's fun to, and it's helping me to be, keep a note of that a bit more structured in my journal. And I'm trying to kind of plan it out a week in advance or at least a few days in advance and have it there. So this is my finished setup for April, Mish Ebrish, as we say in Welsh and Cymraeg. Uh, I'm really happy with how it came out. I filled in a little bit more on it since um, filming the video and I've got more to do still um, on that. But yeah, I think it's, it's going to be really functional and I think it looks pretty cool. So I'm really happy with that. This is a little bit weird, I think, going from the the 
green to the red, but do you know what? <laughs> I think it'll do just fine. Thanks so much for watching. Warmest, warmest blessings. And I will see you very soon. Mm, da, 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 da.